My favourite match of the tournament would have to be the LNF versus DWE clash. And yes, I know. If you're wondering why I wasn't in the grand final, that's because I managed to sleep through over 14 alarms after a big night practicing and, yeah, missed the games. Thanks to Yogzi for t jumping in the tank for me was sleeping. This match had been eagerly anticipated by both sides. Both had been wanting this for so long to take each other on in a head-to-head -head battle where only one would emerge victorious. And I, Leet Rage, actually had the privilege of being the captain for DWE in this match. My effect on the game was felt immediately. And the message has been sent. Looks like we got all eight back in the party. The message being sent. And off we go. We're going to see DWE in blue. LNF coming in the red. DWE coming on with a bit of a late start there. They both got the message at the same time. But DWE coming in with a late start. LNF getting the immediate advantage with the split push. Rachel was the Charlie objective. And it's breaking off towards Bravo. Who are we going to see sitting here in the tank? That's going to be As you can see, I accidentally and held my team back because I didn't want anyone to spawn in because I didn't want us to be penalised under my watch. It was an incredibly intense game. Both sides pushing real hard, fighting at the top of their abilities. But towards the end, LNF had taken the advantage. They had almost triple capped us. And we all knew there was only one thing we could do to win this match. We had to push for a triple cap for ourselves. This footage begins just as I immediately spawn into a tank. I push Bravo with everything I've got. We had to push for triple. And they stop history from repeating itself. Taking the Alpha objective and Bravo, they hold the majority. 13 to 39. Can DWE bring it back? Can they pour onto the Bravo objective enough to claim it down with the artillery rounds firing from LNF? Does it look like it? Ragey pouring onto the Bravo objective with Benny Penny and R. Winnie holding the Charlie objective. They are going to be closing it down. Alpha objective now going to the hands of DWE. DWE out of nowhere claiming the Bravo Charlie and Alpha objective. If this takes it, they will hold the majority. There it goes. Tickets will be closing down fast. 7 to 35. Can LNF make a comeback? Can they take the Bravo objective? Will DWE keep the tickets closing down? 7 to 31. LNF dropping the ball on all three objectives. Trying to make a massive comeback push. Bravo objective holding into the hands of DWE. Tickets closing down to quick. 20 tickets remaining between the two. Danny Boy trying to come through. Seiko trying to take the Charlie objective. Clazy losing it on the Charlie objective. But will it be too late? Can DWE run the tickets down? 6 to 20. 14 tickets remaining between the two. Closing quick. 6 to 18. Can DWE manage to pull a miracle? Rabbit out of the hat. Holding out from Bravo objective. 10 tickets remaining between the two. This will come down to the wire. DWE making a massive push to the Charlie objective. Charlie flipping in favor of LNF. But the majority flag still holding in DWE's favor. Vamos, Boomer, Cobo coming through the outskirts. Winnie coming through the top. Six tickets remaining between the two. Five tickets, four tickets remaining. Can they close it down quick? Cobo, Boomer making a massive push for the Charlie objective. Fresh Mayonnaise coming off the top. Can DWE do it? Has DWE done it? Six to six. This is in favor to both. Can they flip it over? Six to five. DWE now taking the favor. Two tickets remaining between the two, but pouring onto the Charlie objective. Six to two. DWE looks like they've done it. Looks like they pulled a miracle, ladies and gentlemen. Six to zero. DWE making a comeback from a 30 point lead in favor. LNF losing the ball. This is a repeat of history three times running, but Wizard, Danny Boy, Seiko, and SSJ God with the squad, squad, squad. Ladies and gentlemen, that was sweaty.